Blender to Unity import is kind of wacky. For some reason, if you found this video, you probably know this or have seen this. When you import an FBX object that was exported by Blender, it shows up correctly in the scene. This penguin is pointing in the right direction, but the rotation is off and the scale is off. What I wanted for this penguin is for the forward axis axis to be pointing in the direction of his beak, meaning the z-axis points in the direction of his beak. But instead, the z-axis is pointing up and the y-axis is pointing back. So if I hit, say, move forward on this thing, essentially he's going to float up instead of moving forward. In addition, the scale is set to 100 because for some reason these things don't export at the right scale. It's all confusing, but we can fix it. So I'm gonna go in and show you how to do that from the Blender side, and then we'll import it into Unity and get this thing working. So the first thing you wanna do, once you have Blender open, this is Blender 2.8, is make sure that you have the thing oriented along the negative Y axis. I do here. You also want your transforms. This, if you hit the N key, uh, as in November, and make sure you're in the item menu, you can see your location, rotation, and scale. These all to start will be zero, zero, and one. If they're not, I'll get to that later in the video, but up front, I just wanna show you this technique for exporting. Actually, two techniques for exporting. So there's two ways. So I want this to be pointing along the negative Y axis, which gets translated into Z. I want to go to File, Export, FBX, and then, like I said, there's two options. So I'm gonna show you the first one really quick. This experimental apply transform. This one will do the work for you. It only works if you have static objects that don't have any animations on them. So just remember that. Uh, I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna just call it apply transform. And I'm going to export this one as FBX and show you that when you come into Unity, right click, import new asset, I'm gonna import this penguin apply transform, drag him into the scene, and hit F to focus on him. And then you'll see that the rotation and the scale are their default 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, you'll notice also that the forward arrow here, this blue z-axis is now pointing forward instead of up. So the other option, which will transfer better to armatures and animations is to take this same model. We are going to do a rotation first that's going to kind of cancel things out. So we're going to rotate along the x-axis in the in negative 90 degrees. So we're going to type in minus 90. Rotate him like this. We're going to hit control A which applies the rotation. Another way you can do this is go up into the object menu and go to apply. Same menu, just hit rotation. And then we're going to rotate it back 90 degrees and we are not going to apply the second time. So this is going to fix that rotation so it won't show that negative 89.98. And then when we go to file, export, FBX, rather than leaving this as apply scale of all local, we want to set this to FBX unit scale. And we want to uncheck experimental apply transform. So I'm going to rename this one and I'm going to call this one rotated. And I'm going to export this FBX, go back into Unity, right click, import new asset and get this new one. And then I'm going to drag this into this scene here. So here, it is also at 0, 0, 0 for the rotation, and the scale is 1, 1, 1. So these are two different ways that you can do this. And next I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you might want to fix other issues you had before doing this export. Now we're going to look at this same penguin, but a couple things are wrong. So this is a scenario that you might get yourself into if you were modeling and you weren't starting out just right, maybe you didn't know that you had to have it pointed in the negative Y, for example, or that you wanted it centered on zero. So 
let's say this penguin is actually pretty close to where we want it to be. Uh, the center is in the right place and the scale is correct, but maybe you notice that the location and scale are not showing up as zeros and ones respectively. So this is easy to fix and that's with the apply transform menu again. So in this case, right now, he's kind of shifted uh, 30 centimeters back. You can see this little dot is not on the origin. So first thing you need to do is control A and apply location. Okay, so now we're on zeros for that. I'm gonna skip rotation for a sec. And then scale is set to two. So at one point I had made this guy, he was a little too small. So I scaled him up by two and it ended up sort of locking that in here. So easy to fix, control A, we're going to apply the scale. And then finally the rotation. So this one is pointing in the positive Y direction. So that is going to end up facing backwards when we import it into Unity. So we're going to rotate this around the Z 180 degrees to make him point in the negative Y direction. And then we're going to hit control A to apply this rotation. Now he's ready for that little trick that we used previously. So we're just going to rotate him in the X by negative 90, control A to apply the rotation, rotate again in the 90, and then he's ready for export. We're going to go to file, export, FBX, and then go into, uh, we'll call this penguin something. I don't have a creative name for this one. So then we will go into uh, Unity again, right click, import new asset, and then find that penguin something. And then we're going to pull him in here and you'll notice that the rotation and the scale is correct. So that should be most of the, ob op uh, most of the obstacles that you will hit when you're working with uh, Blender and Unity. And hopefully that will solve your problem. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comments and I might be able to make another video that fixes your problem too. I'm planning on doing another video for armatures in particular because those are a little bit trickier than this. Uh, you can still get it fixed, but it's different than previous versions of Blender than it is in Blender 2.8. So uh, take a look out for that video, which I'll be posting after this one.